In the early hours of the 162nd day of the conflict in the Gaza Strip, the aggressor continued its onslaught against innocent civilians, targeting homes predominantly occupied by women and children with relentless raids and artillery barrages. In the central Gaza Strip, 36 members of a single family perished, with scores more injured due to Zionist artillery striking a residence near Nusayrat camp. Palestinians searched the rubble of the destroyed buildings, looking for victims or survivors. These are the remains we retrieved from this four-story building. There are two destroyed floors underground. We are unable to retrieve some of the motors. We lack equipment. We have to try retrieve them with only our hands. We brought shovels and hammers, but to no avail. Look at the extent of the destruction. A Tabatibi family, who had been marking the first Friday of Ramadan and preparing for the pre-dawn suhoor meal, found themselves buried beneath the wreckage as the Zionist strike raised their home to the ground. It is the sixth day of Ramadan. Muslim at this time must have the suhoor meal before fasting, but in Gaza, we are bombarded at this specific time. And when we break the fast, we cannot have a peaceful meal. In Rafah's northern sector, another family fell victim to a recent raid by Zionist occupation forces, claiming lives including that of a muezzin poised to sound the call to dawn prayer. Analysts speculate that the timing and manner of these pre-dawn assaults reflect a frustrated attempt by the occupying forces to vent their inability to suppress the resilient resistance across various fronts.